In this video, we are going to be discussing the basics of subsurface exploration. So the question is, what is subsurface exploration? Well, this is the process of identifying the layers of deposits that underlie a proposed construction site. Now, there are a few different phases to performing a subsurface exploration. So let's write these down. I'm gonna say phases to perform a subsurface exploration. So the first is gonna be called phase one, and this is collecting preliminary information. I'm gonna say collect preliminary information. And so what do we do? We need to collect information about the site layout, the importance of the project, conditions on the ground surface, and some geologic data. So under collect preliminary information, let's say, um, put a colon here, we're gonna say site layout, we're gonna say uh, project purpose. We're gonna say maybe loading conditions and geologic data. So that's phase one. Phase two of a subsurface exploration plan is the following. We're going to perform a preliminary site reconnaissance. Perform a preliminary site reconnaissance. I always have trouble with this word. There we go. So what do we do on a preliminary site reconnaissance? Well, basically what we do is we um, go to the site and we look around. We look around at uh, what is there. Maybe we also look at Google Earth or some maps and we get some preliminary early data about the site itself, okay? So again, we visit the propo proposed site and we compare data from phase one to what we see on the site. So phase one is typically done um, maybe in the office, in an office setting. Phase two is where you actually go outside and you go to the spot where you're going to perform the project, okay? And then that brings us to phase three. Phase three involves performing a detailed site investigation. Perform a detailed site investigation. So here, um, what you do is you go into much more detail compared to what you did in phase two. So we determine information on soil strata. Strata basically means the layers of the soil. We find information about groundwater. So we look at groundwater conditions. 
we look um, and perform field tests. So we're going to say perform field tests and obtain soil samples. Okay. So um, what are some, so th these are the three phases. These are the three phases. Now, as you're going through these phases, specifically phase three, you want to start, ex uh, start looking into common soil exploration methods. So let's change colors here. We're going to say common soil exploration methods. And again, common soil exploration methods, this is what you're going to execute during phase three. So we have several different common soil exploration methods. So um, one set of methods is called geophysical methods. So um, geophysical methods are typically non-destructive. Non-destructive. Uh, and these are ways to get information on your soils, rocks, and some hydrologic conditions without, um, you know, damaging the site. So typically non-destructive, and then we can um, use ground penetrating radar, or we sometimes call that GPR, seismic surveys, and electromagnetic surveys to obtain information on the soil and site. Okay, so these are geophysical methods. Now, we have a lot of different destructive methods. Okay, so we can make a list here. We can call these destructive methods. Now, when we say destructive, I mean, this doesn't necessarily mean you're completely destroying anything. It just means you're doing something that could disturb the site or could, um, you know, agitate the soil itself. So we have rotary rigs. I think I'm spelling rotary incorrectly. Rotary rigs. Test pits auger drills and borings. So I underline the word borings there. Now what are borings? Well, borings or boring logs are a methodology in order to obtain soil samples, okay? So let's come down here and change colors again. We're gonna say that we have two general classifications of soil samples. So what are these? Well, the first general classification is called a disturbed sample. Now, what is a disturbed sample? Well, this is obtained from a, quote, standard or, quote, split spoon sampler. The type of test that uses a split spoon sampler is called 
the standard penetration test, or we typically abbreviate this as SPT. The other type of classification for a soil sample is called an undisturbed sample. Undisturbed sample. And these samples are obtained from what's called a Shelby tube sampler. And that's going to conclude this introductory video, and we're going to talk more about these processes for uh, sampling and subsurface exploration in person.